Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is your general reading for the month of September 2021. So let's see what is going on for my Virgo friends. Any area of life that pops out, we will read the messages so you can see where the focus is. Happy birthday Virgo, hope you're enjoying your, your season. Let's see, okay. So cutting the deck. There we go, bottom of the deck. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune is on your side, Virgo. I like it. Okay, so look at you. You have a lover, a smoking hot lover, Virgo. Look at that gorgeous energy, looking into the eyes, gazing into the eyes of one another. Hotter than the hinges of Hades, beautiful energy. Look at that. From heat to ice cold, we've got the Queen of Swords. Virgo, you are going to judge this situation by its merits, not by its passion. If it does not serve you, you will not stay in this connection, but whoa, baby cakes, it is hot. You have stepped in to make an offer. Virgo, you have released something in the recent past that has brought in good fortune. Eight of Wands, you are passionately moving forward. A lot of a lot of communication, air travel. It looks like possibly going on a vacation, but I'm not sure yet. That's just rapid movement forward. Advancement forward. Five of Swords, something is complicated. There's something complicated and I feel very strongly it has to do with whatever or whomever you released in the past because you made a head over heart decision to choose love and passion over something that was very painful and dramatic for no good reason. Somebody who treated you very poorly and you have said, no, nada, cut. This person is still in the picture. You may have children with them, which is what I highly suspect. This has turned into a love reading. Didn't mean for it to be that way, but it is what it is, right? We read the cards as they come out. Two of coins. So you are of two minds of something. This can also mean that you might be juggling money because you have now two homes to maintain or two relationships to maintain. It can also mean juggling two people, but we will find out as we go. In this situation, you are not happy about the concept of having to work so hard and deal with this person and to you because what they're doing is they're interfering with your new relationship. They are not happy about it. This person does not want you to be happy. They like to be sad. They like to be miserable. Death card. You absolutely are ending this. To you, this is a done deal. It's been finished. It's been over. You're looking for your rebirth and you've had it already. Virgo, what is your outcome? The Ace of Swords, you are very clear. You are not going back to the past at all. Not going to happen. You have been waiting for this day. It's like a day of liberation. It's like the revolution has finally come to pass. We're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify these cards because this is an interesting story. So let's look and see what the Wheel of Fortune represents in this reading for you, Virgo. What does the Wheel of Fortune represent for Virgo in this reading? That is Sagittarius, Jupiter energy. Good fortune turns in your favor. The, okay, so you were trying to get out of a relationship or a legal commitment. The, and the person that you were with didn't let you. They fought it. They didn't want you to leave them. Okay. They did everything they could to stop you. Oh my goodness. You were it looks as though you were married to this person. This person really was never able to come to the table. Now, oh now, now they're trying to tell you how much they love you. Interesting, interesting energy. So whoever the troublemaker was that was the cause of this energy for you to release them. They were very dramatic. 
You probably knew them a long time. There's the death card, death card, death card. All right, so judgment is usually the judgment of divorce. I will say that. Libra energy can be the initiation of the paperwork for divorce or it can be, you know, the settlement after the divorce. All right, why is judgment here? Why did you make this decision? For your happiness, wow. Well, isn't that what it's supposed to be? Why is a lover's card here? Why is a lover's card here? Oh my goodness, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. You got lucky. You got lucky and then you got lucky. And you fell in love. And you fell in love fast. You know, it looks like you were in such a bad situation that it's sort of like the old joke. Why do you hit yourself in the ha head with a hammer? Well, because it feels so good when you stop. I'm sorry, I don't mean to really, I, I shouldn't say that, but it just looks so joyful that you're on this right path. Look at this. So you've met somebody who is really beautiful. The person, your lover, is a spiritual soulmate for you. This is hopes and dreams for love coming true. This is a spiritual card of Aquarius, enlightenment, and fate brought you together. Absolutely, fate brought you together. And I feel as though fate might have brought you together quite, you, know, you might have known this person or you've known this person for a while. These cards are higher numbers, which would indicate having met this person a while ago. Eight of Wands, what makes you so excited? Oh, because you made a good decision. And tell us more about why you think this is such a good decision other than you're happy and excited. Uh, again, children. All right, so you feel as though you're going to miss your children, if I'm reading this, if this is, if you're masculine, it doesn't matter, but it looks as though you, you don't like the effect on the children. However, look at this energy of the Empress coming in. Look, your person that you're with, Virgo, is such a spiritual rock star that they know how to love unconditionally and they're actually, you perceive that this person may offer your children a more sound and stable environment than they've received from what looks like, you know, they're a, a, a birth parent. I'm getting the full card. You are really looking, you were heartbroken. You were in a third party situation with this person for a while. So it looks as though for the Virgos for whom I'm reading, you have left, and readings can be vice versa, we all know that, but you have left a marriage. It looks like your person might have left you on a whim, thinking that you'd come running after them and you didn't, because you would not have left very easily. But it does show that this soulmate is a spiritual soulmate, and this is a person you manifested because spirit brought you together. The Knight of Swords, and the Five of Swords is somebody that really speaks in harsh ways. They tend to be very, I want to say, ugly with their words. That is a person who rushes in and tries to cause trouble. So it does look like that is something that concerns you. But here's the good news. You, you are in a relationship that is so good, this person cannot possibly take you away from the person with whom you are meant to be. This is the three of wands. You know what you're doing. You knew what you were doing. Very interesting. Why is the two of coins here? It was because you were juggling. Uh-huh. You were romantically linked when you felt very lonely in a marriage, what appears to be a marriage, a long-term committed relationship with children, and you made an overture of love. It looks like I think both of you were probably very lonely at the time that you met. Why is the Four of Cups here? <laughs> Your person may not have agreed with you. Yep, it was somebody you worked with and they were not on board with this concept. Initially, anyway, what happened? The Nine of Swords, this person's really gone through dark soul, a dark night of the soul, and this is your person now. That's how I'm reading this. They did not want to be involved in a third party situation. They sort of gave you some grief over this. And it shows that you were very afraid of losing them and you wanted to win. Yep, that's what I'm seeing here, the death card. You manifested this Virgo, Virgo, you strategic little 
wonderful, smart person. You are amazing with what you, that is your card. This is Gemini, this is Virgo and Gemini energy. The star card is Aquarius. You've manifested, oh my God, I'm so, like I'm totally impressed with this because usually people linger in these relationships and they don't really do anything productive and it just ends badly for everybody. And what I'm seeing is that you took care of yourself finally. You are clearly with somebody with whom you can build an empire. You are clearly with somebody who's on the same page. You have Taurus energy. They have Taurus energy. You have made a wonderful decision to have success and joy in your life. Let's take a look and see what the Moonology deck is going to tell us about this. Okay, what is going on with our Virgo friends? Wow, you earth signs really popped up here. Bring love into the situation, and that is what you did, Virgo. All right, let's look at the wisdom of the oracle in terms of how to deal with this difficult person. And the cards that I'm looking at are the Five of Swords and all of these ugly cards over here. How should you deal with this person? What's the advice from spirit? Mending. Well, do your best to mend the relationship. Do your best, you know, show your person the way that they should treat other people, but this person is not for you ever again, so that you made the right decision. Let's look at your journey and love and where you're at. I love these oracle cards for you. This is phenomenal. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You're with somebody who's extremely lovely. All right, burning hero, there you are. You burned. That's what the judgment card is. It's like the fire. The fire. You know, this person's rising like the phoenix from the ashes. The ancient ones. Ooh, you may have had a dream or a premonition of doing this from one of your ancestors. And self-initiation, you knew what you wanted. You went after it. It really is that simple, Virgo. You really understood the importance of your happiness. There's something about your love and your legacy and your life and your ancestors that really pushed you to be true to yourself, to have a wonderful love relationship. Portal, a portal has opened. Infinite mind awakening and consciousness. That is what the star card is. Virgo, congratulations. I am so happy for you. Take care. Sending you love. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It's the only way my channel can grow. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for your views.